Hey guys, welcome back to Phillips Hot Rod Garage. Before we get started on the Model 8, check out this Mustang. One of my customers stopped by the shop on this car one day this week. This car is a 68 Shelby GT 500 KR convertible. Has the 428 Cobra Jet. This car is one of only 416 made. It's just not every day that you get the opportunity to work on something this rare and this cool. I'm telling you, this thing is, this is a gorgeous car. I'm gonna pick up where we left off in the last videos. Hey, it's a new night. Let's get this done. So now that I've got the panel fitting nicely where it meets the gas tank and where it meets up to the cowl post, to the A-pillar, I've got to address a couple of issues with this replacement panel on the front section up here. You can see that the original panel was solid here, welded together. Uh, it probably just was stamped this way. But the way they manufactured this replacement panel, this area needs to be welded right in that area. Another issue that I have is the length of this lip. So I've set this square where we can get an idea of how wide this lip is. And when I place the square against the new panel, you can see it's looks to be about an eighth of an inch or so too long maybe over an eighth i'll trim this panel back and i'll weld it here i'll trim it back right here and that'll get this area done let's go ahead and take care of that All right, guys, I can see that line. That's wearing my hands out. All right, I got it. I got the square set at the depth of the old panel from the body line out to the edge. I'll check it on the new one. Should be perfect. And it is. You 
You can't get any better than that. That's perfect. All the way down. All right. So now that is the same as the original panel. So now we've got to address this area here. What I did was they had, um, this piece was a little bit long, it was sticking out. So they also had a gap. So I used that material that they had sticking out past here, used that material to hammer over to close in some of that gap. So now all I've got to do is weld that gap, grind that smooth, and that part should be ready. All right, here's a close up of what I'm working with now. See, I just took this lip here, hammered it down. I'm glad they left a little extra metal there. They gave me something to fill in that gap with. So now I'm just gonna push this area in a little bit, line it up, just weld that gap. And then this area here will be finished. Then I think the only thing left to do will be to drill the rivet holes down the front edge there. I gotta finish drilling along the top, down the back. And then we'll be able to fix that bottom area a little bit later on. All right, guys, I'm gonna weld this up. I'm gonna use a TIG. I'm not the best with a TIG. Um, a lot more comfortable with the MIG. I could just MIG this up real quick, grind it off and be done with it. But I need some practice with the TIG, so I thought I'd get a little bit of practice on this. Really can't mess it up. It's just a small area. If I blow it out, you know, trying to practice with this TIG, hey, I can always come back and fix it. Perfect time to practice. I forgot to grind all this coating off. So that had a little bit of an effect on it, but it still welded good. A little more practice would help, but that's what I was doing here, getting some good practice. So I'm gonna grind this off, make this look good. We're gonna be in business. guys I got the grinder work done I need to dress off this corner this really sharp tight corner down in there I think the corner of this file will do the trick 
and I'll probably just file some of the other areas too. Just dress it off, make it look good. It's TIG welded, it's ground down, it's filed. Looks really good. I think it's ready to put back on the car. Test fit that, see how it looks. Oh yeah, I'm happy with that. That looks good. There's only one thing that I'm not sure about on this. And that is, since this panel was cut too short here, and I had to hammer that over, I ended up with a little bit of a a little bit of a notch there on the end. I may come back and weld that up. I don't know. It's, I'm just gonna have to study on that a while. It doesn't look bad like that, but time to fix it is now. So I may just go ahead and fix it. Okay, now I've got to do the same thing that I did here on this corner. I've got to do that on this corner as well, where this top, flange meets the flange that goes down the back side. It's gotta be welded in there too. I should have done that when it was off, when I was welding this front area, but I got ahead of myself. Got excited about sticking that up there and seeing how good it looked. All right, so let's go ahead, take it back off, see if we can get this corner fixed. All right, so I've got this cow side stuck into my vise here on my frame table. What I'm gonna do is take some of this metal that we had from earlier that we cut off I'm gonna use it to fill in this gap here. I'll probably put it here on the side. I'll weld that in. Once I get that welded, I'll grind it off flush with the top edge and then weld it in from the top. That'll give me some material to fill in that gap. All right, now that corner's done. Got to stick it back on the car now. I think it's gonna fit okay. Let's stick it up there and see. So the cow side's back on. I got the corner done. All right, so all the bracing's back on the inside, the panel, you can see how it fits inside. I've got to come in here and I got to drill all these holes out all the way around this thing, get it bolt it in then i've got to start over here look at that mess not as bad as the other side was but it's pretty bad so this is probably where we'll start next got a lot of rust on this side just like the other side not quite as bad though the lower post on this side is not as rusty as the other side got a couple of holes under there but it's nowhere near as bad as what we had on the other side so this is probably where we'll start next. So leave me a comment, guys. Let me know what you think about the way this cow side turned out in this area. Does that look good with that little notch? Or would you make that straight? What would you do? That wraps it up for another 90 Phillips Hot Rod Garage. In the next video, we move on to something new. We've gone as far as we can go on this cow side. 
So we're moving on to something else. I just want to say thank you to all of you who have subscribed to the channel. I appreciate all of you who have been uh, commenting on the videos. I appreciate the comments, especially those of you who have commented on almost every video. Uh, I just want to say thanks to all of you. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.